Okay, proposition number three. It's okay to appropriate the work of artists. Okay, I know this one's going to get me in trouble, um, and I'll qualify it. But, um, but I, I think that if you kind of come back to this model, like artists aren't really meant to participate in the market in the first place. I mean, maybe you sell some works. Um, sure, that's, that's part of the market. Most artists have a lot of trouble making a living doing that. Um, but the market's not really there to support artists in the first place. And I want to give you one example, um, James Terrell. So for those of you that aren't familiar with James Terrell's work, he is a, like a, an amazing artist that works with light and space. And if you've ever seen any of his installations, you go there and you feel the sense of like sublime, sort of spiritual, at peace with the world, and, and just works with your perception in such ways that it's just somehow magical. And he's been doing this work for years and years, and he's sort of pioneered that area. Uh, this is the um, video by uh, Drake called Hotline Bling, which came out last year. And if you look at this video, you'll see that it really looks a lot like James Terrell's work, right? <laughs> like, it's kind of changing light sculpture, sort of minimal. Uh, one of the folks at Hyperallergic did a shot-by-shot -shot analysis um, of, of some of Drake's work and, and Terrell's work. And so on the top, you see Drake's, Drake's you know, installation on his video, uh, work on the video, and then Terrell's installations below. And Drake was asked about this, and, and he actually said, you know, <laughs> and he actually said, he actually said, you're a big influence, you know? You know, I fuck with Terrell, he's a big influence on me. And then, and then they asked Terrell about it, and Terrell said, you know, well, he honored my work, you know, I actually enjoyed, I got a lot more attention since he got involved. And so, so I'll kind of come back to this proposition, and that's why I call it a proposition and not a statement. It's okay to appropriate the work of artists under a few conditions. First of all, you need to recontextualize the work which I believe is what Drake did. He presented a music video. The music kind of matched the form that he was working with. He reshot it. So recontextualizing work doesn't mean going on to someone's website and taking the JPEG off there and printing out a quilt and selling it on Alibaba. That's not really recontextualizing it. That's just stealing it. Um, also, artists need to have some sort of funding model, right? So like taking work and appropriating it from some artist that's not even had, doesn't have any sort of living to make their work and is doing that on the side, that's not really fair to the artist. But if they had funding behind them, then they could participate in this kind of economy where they could let their ideas go more freely. And finally, give them some sort of nod of credit. And that is important not only to acknowledge the artist, but also to dispel this creator myth, that this idea that we somehow get amazing ideas from our own head and they're not born from anywhere else, to just acknowledge this and create a lineage of thought and, and culture. Um, and I, I think that kind of idea that that I'm kind of mining here or thinking about is that artists have, need to have this expansive time. And if they're working with the exigencies of the market and thinking about how to make a living all the time, they don't have time to really think about those long-term kind of thoughts and to work in this artistic direction. They're much more concerned with the immediate, how to sell my work, how to find funding, and don't have that expansive space to be creative.